Hey guys, how's it going? Joe back with you with a, another uh, Blu-ray haul video. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I got quite a bit on my latest haul, which just came in today. Uh, kind of went a little crazy, but uh, I uh, sold one of my uh, big guitar amps to one of my buddies, uh, Arturo, and uh, for $250, so I had $250 of my own to buy something with. So... Um, I bought the Green Ranger helmet that you uh, saw in the last video I did, and then I bought all these uh, these Blu-rays, and so I made out kind of on a, a pretty uh, like a bandit pretty much. Uh, I got quite a bit for the rest of the money that I had. I had one hundred and fifty dollars left, so a lot of uh, movies had discounts. They were on sale. Uh, Amazon dropped the price on a lot of them, and they were in my wish list. So I took the opportunity to grab them. But uh, let's start going through this pile. So first up, we have a few Arrow video selections. Uh, first is Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which just came out on Tuesday. Love this movie. <laughs> uh, the um, I just remember from a kid walking through the aisle of the, the horror movie section of uh, Blockbuster and seeing the box for this and everything and renting it a few times and watching it. My crazy daughter's back there making noise. But, uh, yeah, so Killer Clowns from Outer Space just came out from Arrow. Um, a lot of cool stuff and special features. Uh, once it focuses there, there we go. Uh, you could pause it, whatever, check it out, see what is in here. But there's a lot of stuff. New 4K scan and everything, so the movie looks best that it's ever looked. And uh, pretty much nicely preserved for us. Penguin. <laughs> Next up, we have Frank Henenlotter's Brain Damage. If you don't know, Frank Henenlotter also directed Basket Case 1, 2, and 3, which are <laughs> phenomenal sleazy 80s horror movies. I uh, love them. Um, man, they just don't make them like they did in the 80s and early 90s, huh? <laughs> There's just something about the movies back then. I don't know, maybe that's why we're so stuck in nostalgia. But uh, yeah, bed, uh, brain damage. It's a headache from hell. Again, Arrow Video putting this one out too. Arrow Video is uh, very awesome. They're like Scream Factory, which Scream Factory is my favorite Blu-ray uh, boutique company. But uh, Arrow is right up there with them, and, and they do really, really fantastic stuff. A lot of special features. Um, remastering video, you know, audio, all that good stuff. So, um, I love special features myself. I, I could watch special features for movies more than I watch the movie. My wife laughs at me because I, I like that stuff, but, uh, and she doesn't. So she's like, when she's done with a movie, it's done. Stop. Take it out. Hey, I'm making a video here. Shush. But, uh. Myself, special features, I can watch all day. I love it. <laughs> so I, sometimes I just put movies on and watch the special features just because I love the, the behind the scenes and everyone talking about it, especially if it's an older movie and seeing the actors now, uh, how they look and everything. Uh, I really love that. So like um, some of the documentaries that came out uh, for like Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street, I really love because I get to see all those actors from the movies I love and what they're doing now, what they look like, all that good stuff. All right, next we have a still book of Bride of Reanimator. Uh, Arrow video as well. I have Arrow's version of Reanimator. I uh, got that a few months back. And uh, so now I have part two on a special still book edition. This is the only one that was a lot of money. Uh, it was uh, 30, 40 bucks still. <laughs> so this was the most expensive one out of all of them. There's all the special features there. Got Herbert West on the front with the uh, uh, serum. Nope. Come on, focus. Nah, you can't really see it. It's not focusing. It's kind of getting dark and uh, all my light went away. <laughs> so next up, those were my arrow videos uh, that I got. Next up, I have a couple of titles from Vinegar Syndrome. 
Uh, first up, we have Hobgoblins. I have a buddy on Twitter that really loves this movie. <laughs> uh, his name's Joe Gwynn. Uh, so seeing him talk about it so much and post little things about it, uh, I had to get it. It's during that day and age after Gremlins came out where a bunch of little creature movies came, uh, little creature features just started coming out. You got Gremlins, Critters, Hobgoblins, Spookies, Munchies. All those movies started coming out after Gremlins. Let's move this down. See the special features. All right, there we go. So that's Hobgoblins. Next up, we have Slaughterhouse. But he has an axe to grind, a big axe, which that's not really an axe. <laughs> that is a uh, pick splitter. Haven't seen this one, but I love cheesy slasher flicks. So, uh... I had to get it. Got all the special features there. So again, it's a Vinegar Syndrome. Put out these two. I have a couple other Vinegar Syndrome movies like Ice Cream Man and uh, Jack Frost that came out. <laughs> Alright, next up we have a couple Vestron Video uh, Collector Series Blu-rays. Um, which I am super happy I got the <laughs> slip covers for. Uh, I'll show you here in a second uh, what I'm talking about with the slip covers in this series. But uh, first up, we have Class of 1999, sequel to Class of 1984, Killer Robots. Malcolm McDowell, Stacy Keach, classic genre movie guys. Special features there. This is number 14 in the series. But, uh, there you go, class of 1999, best run video. Next is in their line is Gothic, which this box, this cover, I've seen so many times uh, at Blockbuster. My mom used to work at Blockbuster when I was a kid, so I got to rent a free movie every day. So most of the time, I <laughs> spent a lot of time roaming the horror movie section in, uh, when I was uh, a child <laughs> from the ages, I think, 8 to... Uh, might have actually been 7 to like 12 she worked there, uh, 12 or 13. So <laughs> formative years of watching horror movies. But I would always see this case and the little creepy guy standing on that chick <laughs> with his claws and evil look. I'd always see that and look at it and get scared of it. <laughs> So, yeah, number 13 in the series, in the set. Uh, if this will focus. Yeah, nothing's focusing on my iPhone. But uh, there you go, Gothic. Let me show you what I'm talking about. That's why I'm glad I have the slip covers for these. Nothing pisses me off more, and probably my OCD, than having a series of movies that come out and then having one of them not have a slip cover. <laughs> I was watching Friday the 13th part 5 earlier uh with the fan commentary by Adam Green and Joe Lynch. So <laughs> that's uh, that's still up on the TV there. But uh look at this. Here's my best drawn video section. Look at all that. Nicely numbered 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 Look at this crap. The unholy only one that came with no slip cover. Out of all that, and look how crappy it looks now on the on the on the shelf. I'm gonna have 13 and 14 now here. I'm gonna move things over. We'll put 13 and 14, and look, 10 sticking out like a sore thumb because there's no slip cover. I hate that. Pisses me off. <laughs> also, with my Star Trek: The Next Generation series, look at that. Season six, no slip cover. Star Trek, season two, no slipcover. What the hell? Bugs the shit out of me. All right, let me go back in our other second living room. Get this video done, I'm already at almost 10 minutes. All right, next up, popcorn. 
Synapse video put this out. Came out a few months ago. I know they came out with a cool steel book, but uh, I waited till the standard edition came out. It was a lot cheaper. This was a 90s uh, flick. I think it came out in like 90, 91. 91. Um, I don't think I've seen this since 91, so I don't really remember much of that, but everyone says you gotta have it. All right, next up is uh, from uh, Epic Pictures and uh, Dread Central, Terrifier. I was like, I've seen this clown before somewhere, and then I realized it was from the movie All Hallows Eve. So I guess this is a continuation of his story or his um, origin, I don't know, something like that. So Terrifier, everyone said this is really, really good, so I ordered it from Epic Pictures themselves because I really wanted to see it. Slasher flicks, gotta love them. So I got that in. So, because i never seen All Hallows Eve with said clown. <laughs> See? There you go. Art the clown. I figure I might as well pick up All Hallows Eve because i never seen it. I loathe DVDs, but these movies were only available on DVD. The Blu-ray was uh, foreign and uh, they were charging a lot for it. So I was like, meh, I'm not going to, just for this movie. So I got the... Uh, DVD of it, but here's All Hallows Eve and All Hallows Eve 2. I heard they're kind of um, more uh, kind of like creep show and all those um, VHS where you have multiple stories. Can't think of the word right now. I'm getting a brain fart. <sighs> What's the name? Oh, but yeah, so yeah, I had to get those. I just got the second one just because it was only like four bucks, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, so I got All Hallows Eve and Terrifier, so I can watch those and get the whole effect of Art the Clown. And last but not least is nothing really horror related, but it's a TV show that I really love. Uh, I watched this a lot with my dad when I was growing up. Uh, Quantum Leap with Scott Bakula. The series came out on Blu-ray a while back uh, and uh, really, really been wanting it all five seasons. And um, apparently... The releases they had before uh, didn't have the original music that was in the TV episodes. They put generic music, and it was a lot of real good popular music, um, like Elvis and um, other, a lot of, lot of music is in that show. Well, these Blu-rays, apparently, they re-added all the music back in, and it's the uncut episodes the way you saw them back when they aired with original music, so... That being said, I'm kind of glad to wait for the DVD release or the Blu-ray release because I was out on DVD already, and I almost bought those versions just because I like the show, and I'm glad I waited. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> all right, now you got all five seasons of Quantum Leap on Blu-ray with the original music. So I'll probably uh, take this with over to my dad's, watch this with him, <laughs> that sort of thing, because he loved this show too. Me and him watched a lot of stuff together, like Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation, Quantum Leap, that sort of thing. So, a lot of those 80s TV shows me and him watched together. I don't know what my daughter's doing over here, but stop that. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, there you go, guys. A uh, little long video because I had quite a bit of stuff to go over, as we can see. Now i got to figure out how to get this all on my shelf, and I'm running out of room, so... <laughs> I need to figure out where I'm going to put another movie shelf and see where the wife is going to let me do it. Being that she gave me that room and I'm already almost full. So I need to find another bare wall. Maybe in that corner by the door over there by the stairs. I'll <laughs> take over that back wall or something. Because, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Anything in this living room or back there in that living room. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, uh, here's my movies that I got. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and give a like if you liked it. Um, let me know uh, what you think of these movies and if you've seen any of them. But uh, you guys have yourself a good one. All right, bye.